Good morning. So, um, I just wanted to post a quick video here. Um, it's something that's been on my heart and it's kind of like been bothering me for, I, I want to say at least the better part of almost two months. And the other day I recorded a video, um, on, on this topic, but it came out across like very condescending, very harsh, um, and especially towards some some believers, and um, I deleted it. I wasn't I wasn't happy with it. I prayed on it, and the Lord said, "No, don't don't post this video." He, listen, when I was praying, I heard the Lord said, "Don't post this video," and I deleted it right away. Um, and uh, but I still I, I still feel that I need to get that message out. This message out. Um, this goes to two camps. This goes to those of you who are out there who are. Uh, predicting who are claiming that the rapture is going to happen today tomorrow um on a particular day um and and things like that um that's for that camp um because i see so many so many youtube videos and channels and everybody and their grandmother is predicting when the rapture is going to be um uh, but also a lot of people are using the disclaimer and I'm guilty of using it once, a couple of times before. They use the disclaimer of, um, uh, it's, the rapture's around the corner. Uh, it's soon. I don't know what day, but soon. And it's covering all your bases. That's what it is. Basically, that's what it is. And yes, the word of God tells us, scripture tells us that no one knows the day or the hour, but we ought to look for signs and seasons. And as we look at everything that's happening in the world, um, it seems like it possibly could be soon, but as the word of God says, soon is what, you know, to, to the Lord, you know, a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like a day. Um, so, and then I also want to address this towards those people who get, um, easily, for lack of a better word, I'm going to say sucked into this. Um, I want to caution you. I want to, I want to, I want to. Just with love, I'm going to say, be careful. Be careful who you listen to. Um, be careful of some of these channels. Um, as Brother Tom uh, from Watchman River uh, said the other day that um, there were four people, four so-called prophets. And that said that on Monday, this past Monday, the rapture, that's when the rapture was going to happen. Uh, we're, on we're into Thursday now, guys. So, you know. So much for uh, prophets, which that's another. That's a story for another day on, on my belief on, on prophets, which I don't believe there are any prophets in this world. The gift of prophecy, yes, it still exists because I've experienced it myself, but not prophets. Anyway, at least not like the old day, like the old uh, Old Testament prophets, and also like um, like John the Baptist. I truly believe John the Baptist was the last true prophet. Um, and this, this also goes for that, that camp. Be careful guys, be careful who you get sucked in by, because the reason I say that is because, you know, um, they could tend to give us, you know, through these messages, false hope. Um, and we know that yes, what they're claiming is eventually going to happen one day. We don't know when, but they're giving you false hope. Because I see so many people, and I read the comments, I read comments on so many videos, and I see people like, in their comments I'm reading desperation, in their comments I'm reading anxiety, in their comments I'm reading stress, I'm reading hopelessness, not hope, I'm reading hopelessness in some of them, in their comments I'm reading um, just somebody who, who, who has no other way out but the rapture. But the Lord doesn't call us to do that. You know, we're supposed to live in this world until he takes us home, whether through death or whether through the rapture. So let's say the rapture doesn't happen for years or even decades. How are we to live when I see so many people living in anxiety and, and just hoping and anticipation, waiting for that rapture? And because they're going through illnesses or financial issues or whatever, they're looking at the rapture. They're looking at, at Jesus as their way out of whatever their current situation is. And remember what Jesus says, in this world you'll have tribulation, but be a good cheer, I have overcome the world. Yes, we ha we're gonna have tribulation. Uh, I was watching uh, John Holler and um, and uh, Mondo, I don't know his last name, um, from Serpents and Dove yesterday. 
and and John Holler, who who's a great Bible prophecy teacher, he um he says it. He says, "Listen, we really don't know, so we ought to prepare for whatever is coming." You know, we don't know how long the Lord is going to tarry. We don't know how long we're going to be here or how much of this so-called tribulation we're going to experience. But I truly believe that we won't experience the great tribulation. But we will experience some tribulation. So you have to be mentally ready for it, spiritually ready for it. Yes, and even possibly physically ready for it um, by preparing in whatever capacity, whatever way uh, you're called to prepare. Um, you know, having some food ready, having some stuff ready. And I, I posted videos on that. Um, having some finances, you know, put away, just, just things like that. Um, and I read some of the comments in that video. And one person said, all we need is Jesus. And yes, all we need is Jesus. But we can't be foolish about it, okay? We need to be prudent at the word of God tells us so many times in, um, in Proverbs. We need to be prudent and wise. Because we don't know when the Lord is coming. So you need to prepare. And I feel that the people who are posting videos on a daily basis, some of them, about the rapture's coming, the rapture's coming, the rapture's here. I think we, as those people, as Christians, no matter, they, they might be, they might have good intentions behind it. But they're not really thinking. Because not everybody is mentally stable. And I'm not saying that the, the, the people are... Um, have mental issues. I'm just saying not everybody has a, a strong constitution to be able to to hear things like that. So when you're telling them the rapture's coming, you're giving them false hope because like, oh yes, I don't have to worry about this because the rapture's coming. I don't have to take care of this because the rapture's coming. Um, I, me personally, I hope you understand what I'm trying to get across. I, I feel that they're deceiving people. I know, I know some people. I know, I, I can name a handful of people, maybe more that are mentally weak. I'm not saying that they're not smart or, you know, that they're ignorant. I'm just saying that mentally weak that, you know, at the slightest thing that, that happens, you know, they crumble. Um, I know one particular lady from the church I used to attend. I feel so bad for her. She was a mess. I mean, that's why I, I never used to share any anything about um, the end times with her. I never used to share anything about the news of what's going on in the world. And Sadly, that there are a good amount of people like that out there. So if I was to tell her, oh, the Lord is coming soon, you know, the rapture is coming, I, I would just be telling her. And I actually, at one point, I think at once somebody had mentioned it and she was worried. And she said, what does it mean? What does it mean? Like the rapture is coming. So, you know, I saw it. And so I was very careful. I walked gingerly around her and what I shared with her. And there are other people that I know that you, you can't. There's some things you can't share with everybody. And when we're out there on a daily basis, we don't realize some of these YouTube um, YouTubers, they don't realize. Well, who's your audience? And read the comments on your videos. Go and read every single comment and see how you're impacting and how you're touching these people. And if you see or read into some of these comments and you see that they're not being touched in a good way. I mean, I know, yeah, we have the blessed hope and we're to look forward to it, but we're still in this world. I mean, remember what the Lord said to the Father, do not take them out of this world, but keep them from this world. He's going to keep us here until, but keep us from the evil one. He's going to keep us here until his time is set, until the, the Lord's time is set to come and take the church. Whether it's today, whether it's next year, whether it's five years from now, personally, I don't believe it's going to be more than seven years from now and I have my reasons why but anyway I'm not dating I'm not putting a date I'm just saying the Holy Spirit spoke something to me but anyway but that's that's another topic and I think I recorded videos on that too but we need to be very careful and for those of you who are constantly following these these youtubers who are saying every day that they've had multiple dreams multiple visions that the, the, the Lord told them that he's coming tomorrow that he's coming very soon that he's around the corner um I pray that you would pray and ask the Lord to give you a discerning heart and to, because it, going through life, okay, as crazy as everything is, but going through life, being full of anxiety, um, being full of, um, it's the word I'm looking for, but like just waiting and anticipating to a point where, you know, you, you can't take it anymore. That's, it's not healthy. That's not healthy. And I know that we don't live in this world. I know that our citizenship is in heaven. I know all that. But 
we need to also remember that we need to, you know, live this life and enjoy it as best as we can because the Lord has given us life, okay? And at the same time, keep yourself separated from the world. Come out from among them. Um, I'm going to post a video hopefully next week on that topic. Come out from among them. Something that the Lord spoke to me uh, weeks ago. So anyway, so um, I love you guys. And, and I'm, I'm worried for those of you who are, are being sucked into these channels that are just... A lot of what they're saying, it's, it's not healthy. It's not healthy for most people. So anyway... I hope you take this into consideration and if you know if you get angry or mad at me for this message so be it i'm just you know putting forth what the lord has uh, placed on my heart god bless you my friends have a nice day